Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do a quick and easy portrait makeover. Let's have a look and say before we begin exactly what we're going to achieve. So this is the starter image that I started off with and I did some spot fixing on it to make sure that I had removed the skin blemishes and then I brought out the detail from the shadows and this is the starting point that I then had and this is the effect that we're going to look at creating. We're going to soften the skin and brighten the eyes in our model. So let's have a look and see how we would start off with spot fixing this image. I would go into this image and then I would start by selecting the spot healing brush tool here because this is a tool that you can simply just paint over problems on the skin and it will fix them. So I went over this image really, really carefully. I zoomed in and I got every single one of the blemishes on this model's skin. And it's probably a five minute job to just neaten the image up and just to get a really good starting point for it. And then having done that, I did a shadows and highlights adjustment to bring some detail out of the shadows. So I'll choose image, adjustments, shadows, highlights, and the default setting is 35. Now I used that. It was probably a little bit high, so you could probably bring it down a little bit perhaps to around 23 or 24, but there's a good starting point for your image. And from there you're ready to go ahead with the softening effect. So let's go back to the image that I've spot fixed and now let's get rid of the two layers that are the fixed layers and we're just going to work from the point at which we opened up some of the shadows and highlights. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create a duplicate of this background layer. Just duplicate it and then we're going to blur it. So I'm going to choose Filter, Blur and then Gaussian Blur. I'm going to set the blur value to sort of a lowish sort of value. What I want to do is blur the model's skin and use that in a minute to paint over her skin. So I want something that's sort of a little bit over what I want my final effect to be, but not totally over. So I'm thinking here about 9 or 10 pixels will be a good amount for this image. So I'll just click OK. And having blurred that layer a little bit, I want to add a bit of noise into it. And I'll do Filter, Noise, and then Add Noise. And we want to bring in monochromatic noise and we want it to be Gaussian. Gaussian noise applies more noise to the lighter areas of the image and less to the darker areas. And we want probably somewhere between 5 and 10% noise. And this slider is really hard to adjust at that level. So I'm just going to type in 7.5% and that's giving us a nice little bit of noise in her skin tones. So I'll click OK. So we do not want the image to look exactly like this. We just want that to be a starting point. So let's add a mask to this layer. I'm going to Alt or Option click on the Add Layer Mask icon. And what that does is removes the blur, or moves the entire effect from the model. And we're going to paint on this mask to bring back in the softening where we want it to be. So I'm going to select my brush tool and select a nice soft brush. This one's a good brush to use and I'm going to paint with white. I'm just going to size the brush up a little bit. Now you'll be a bit more careful than I am being, but what I'm doing is selecting over all the areas, painting over all the areas that I want the skin to be softened. So that is basically everywhere but her nose and mouth and eyes. Although I want the skin on her nose to be softened, I don't want to soften this detail around here. And I may want to soften this area, but I don't want to soften her eyebrows themselves. So very carefully softening by painting on the image with white in the areas that you want it to be softened. And you can see on the mask here the areas that we've got and perhaps any areas that we might have missed out on at this stage. Again, don't want to soften that jawline too much. That's a nice strong line and I want to keep that there. Now that I've done that, I can adjust the opacity of this layer a little bit 
going to adjust it down to zero which is totally removing the sharpening effect and now I'm just going to march it up using the scrubby slider until I get the amount of softening that I want. So I really want a subtle softening, not totally obvious but just subtle softening of the skin and I think probably about 30% is a good value for this image. Now I'm going to make another duplicate of this background layer and drag it to the top because what I want to do now is to fix her eyes. So all I'm going to do is focus on this top layer and I'm going to look for some stronger color and contrast in her eyes. So I'm going to choose Image Adjustments Curves. Curves is a good adjustment for this and again I'm going for slightly more than I need. So there are some more whites in her eye. Now I know that the blue color of her eye is in this area so let's add a bit more contrast through that area. So let's see that's the before and that's the after on her eye. So I'm just going to click OK to accept that but of course that's not the image effect that we want. We want more of this effect but we'd like to borrow some of the eyes from this effect. So again I'm going to Alt or Option click on the Add Mask like icon to add a layer mask and again with my paintbrush which is already preset and my paint white paint I'm going to target the mask and paint over her eye. Now again this is probably going to be too much but we can tone it down a little bit by again adjusting the opacity of the mask. So we'll just take it up to what we want it to be. I'm thinking that's probably going to be a little too much, maybe about 50%. So let's have a look at the starting point for the image. This is post having been spot fixed and post having had shadows and highlights applied to it. Then we added the skin softening and finally we added a little bit brighter eyes in our portrait. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please click to like it on YouTube. Consider also subscribing to my YouTube channel. You'll be advised when new videos are launched and right now that's about twice a week. You can also visit my website projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, Lightroom, Illustrator and more.